Welcome to another Liquid Bullet Productions. If you haven't already, remember and subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying the content. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything and come and find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or TikTok. Now, in prison, nobody likes a thief, especially a Peter thief, because you're robbing off your own. This one day I came back from court, been there all day long, I'm thinking, why is my whole unit locked up and everybody else is out at the association? The next thing I'm like, why are you sending me behind my door? I'm just back. I've not done nothing. Mr. Screw's putting me in. I'm thinking, what the hell? So I get in and I was toed up with Rachel at the time. I was like, what's going on? And she's like, oh, there's been a big commotion. She's like, that bird for postal that was getting out in the morning. She was caught thieving, going around the cells robbing the tobacco now it was the day before canteen day so nobody really had much anyway but that's not the point she was caught there was a whole commotion that i wasn't there for so i don't exactly know what happened but the next thing the woman that was across the landing from us that had been sharing with the peter thief went oh you never guess what i did though because i'm like oh who's did what to her she went this girl's come back along and asked me to get all their stuff together because obviously they had to move her out of the unit, they couldn't leave her there. That's so I got it in a big pile in the middle of the floor. And I pulled my knickers down and I peed all over her clothes so she's got to wear she clothes tomorrow when she gets libbed. I'm like, oh my god. I was like, but guess what? I've got court again in the morning and courts and libs get out at the same time. And they're like, Don't just leave it, just leave it, just leave it. I'm like, no, that's bang at the order. So the next morning been opened up and there she is she's standing right outside the main office and I could see down the landing that she's standing there and I'm looking and I'm looking I'm thinking hmm usually you're not doing nothing in front of screws but she's getting out and this is going to be my only opportunity I'm like can I make it down the landing before M Dixon notices what I'm doing or she runs straight into the office and screams and just at that chalky the screw that was working man comes out and he went you all right I'm going yeah 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 I'm fine because I'm usually a bit louder than what I was being. I thought, oh, there's no point. I'll just wait. So, the screw that was the runner, old Bill Black, it was a shame because there was not much he was going to be doing anyway, big fella. He comes and there was five of us going to the health centre first to get medication before we're heading to reception. There's a screw up there, but he can't go anywhere because he's got to wait with the other ones that's getting medication. So we've got what we've gotten. Down the stairs, we're coming out the health centre, going right down the middle of jail so all the other blocks can see what's going on and I've waited to we've got two or three steps away the health centre door's locked so all Bill Black's got is me myself and I and his radio and I was like tapped her shoulder she's turned round laid it on a cracked had a few times she's not fighting back I'm thinking what's going on eventually she was we end up on the floor we're roly pulling about old Bill Black didn't know what he's like, try to get me with the jumper, pull me off her. And then he's trying to keep the other three back that were there. I had them against the wall and he's on his radio shouting for backup. And I knew I only had a couple of minutes until help arrived. And it came first of all from the SO that ran the gardens and Mrs Wallage. And this woman thought it would be a good idea to tickle me to try and get me to let go. So at this point I've been like, nope. Legs wrapped round her, hands in my head, her hair. I'm not letting go. If you're pulling me, she's coming with me. The whole me, she actually bit me in the arm. I was like, oh, couldn't believe she bit me. I'm like, that's it. No, I'm not, I'm just not letting go now. So I'm punching her, and rolling about the place. And then you've got another few screws arrive. But by then, everybody's at the windows and they're shouting because they can hear what's going on. Um, 
and they've got me, they're, they're trying to pull me off her, but they've got, they've got my legs off her, got her hands still on her, and I'm trying to kick my legs, I'm swinging, and they've managed to separate us. And she had, she'd clawed all my face, she'd bit my arm, it wasn't pretty, but they've got me on my knees, with my head on the floor, an arm out at either side, with it twisted in the thumbs, and I'm shouting, I'm done, I'm done, I'm cool, I'm cool, it's all right, it's all right. <laughs> watch my jumper, watch my jumper. I had a nice white jumper on for going to court, and I was scared it was going to get dirty. And I've had to radio up to the governor because they wanted, they had to take me to reception because I had to go to court. They can't walk me right the way through the jail like that. Can we use the governor's special path? Yes, you can. I'm down there, gets to reception, he locks me in the dog box and she's sitting there. Her hair's all messed up. I'm like, yes. Just at that, my friends come over who was in remand. It was my co-accused, so I was coming down to court and I'm giving it, let me out, let me out, because it's just a sliding lock. And she's like, it's fine, wait there. She's obviously seen what's going on. Didn't know why we were fighting, but just knew we had been fighting. So went into reception, she's two strides, been straight on her, uppercut, put the girl on her ass, in reception, and then she's obviously, they've been on her as well. And we looked up, but me and her are like that, yes! We've got the Peter. So that's what happens to Peter thieves. They're not light. And then what happens is, everybody's piling in. They don't need to know what's going on. They like you, they don't like the look of them. So be warned, you don't rub off your own. That's what happens. Now, should it have been done when it was done? No, but it was the only opportunity to get a hold of her and I took it because nobody else had it. Did she rub off me? No, that's not the point. She robbed off my friends. So, be warned, it's not a nice place. Yes, we're all there for, for being criminals and committing crimes, but that doesn't mean to say that you can keep doing that when you're in there. So, there you have it. Just a little snapshot of what can happen if you're a thief. So stay tuned, we've got more stories coming up for you.